The Lord be with you. Thank you for joining us today here at Christ Our Savior Lutheran Church in Holland for the whole Council of God on this Thursday, August the 3rd. Today we'll hear Hosea the 5th chapter. We begin in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Speak, Lord, for your servants here. Please show us now your ways that we may gain Christ and be found in him, not having a righteousness of our own that comes to the law, but that which comes through faith in Christ. Your word is a lamp to our feet and a light to our path. Give us life, O Lord, according to your word, and we shall declare your greatness. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hosea, the fifth chapter, entitled Punishment Coming for Israel and Judah. Hear this, O priest, pay attention, O house of Israel. Give ear, O house of the king, for the judgment is for you. For you have been a snare at Mizpah and a net spread upon Tabor. And the revolters have gone deep into slaughter, but I will discipline all of them. I know Ephraim, and Israel is not hidden from me. For now, O Ephraim, you have played the whore. Israel is defiled. Their deeds do not permit them to return to their God, for the spirit of whoredom is within them, and they know not the Lord. The pride of Israel testifies to his face. Israel and Ephraim shall stumble in his guilt. Judah also shall stumble with them. With their flocks and herds they shall go to seek the Lord, but they will not find him. He has withdrawn from them. They have dealt, fa they have dealt faithlessly with the Lord. For they have born alien children, now the new moon shall devour them with their fields. Blow the horn in Gibeah and the trumpet in Ramah. Sound the alarm at beth -Avon. We follow you, O Benjamin. Ephraim shall become a desolation in the day of punishment among the tribes of Israel. I make known what is sure. The princes of Judah have become like those who move the landmark. Upon them I will pour out my wrath like water. Ephraim is oppressed, crushed in judgment, because he was determined to go after filth. But I am like a moth to Ephraim, and like dry rot to the house of Judah. When Ephraim saw his sickness and Judah his wound, then Ephraim went to Assyria and sent to the great king, But he is not able to cure you or heal your wound. For I will be like a lion to Ephraim, and like a young lion to the house of Judah. I, even I, will tear and go away. I will carry off, and no one shall rescue. I will return again to my place until they acknowledge their guilt and seek my face, and in their distress earnestly seek me. So far the word of the Lord. In chapter 5, God wants Israel and Judah, it warns, God warns Israel and Judah that putting their hope in foreign kings is useless. As long as they continue in idolatry, they may seek God, but they will not find him. Only in repentance can they be healed. We similarly try to play both sides of the fence, claiming to be children of God while living as friends of the world. It is, a, it is a great comfort, therefore, to know that the Lord stands as near as the words of absolution. We pray. O Lord Jesus, spare us from the judgment that we deserve, for we admit that we, too, have turned to other gods. Accordingly, work in us true repentance. Return us to you and lead us to your side by your gracious Son. In his name we pray. Amen. The Pray for Us calendar for this third day of the month. We pray for the Synod's deaconesses. We pray that they would be equipped with all things needful to love and to serve people in every situation. Lord, be with the deaconesses that you have sent out into the schools, into the hospitals, and into the institutions. Be with them. Help them spread the good news of Jesus Christ. In your name we pray. Amen. The prayer of the church. Heavenly Father, as I read the minor prophets, let me see that you can use all of us as your vehicles of grace. I may not be important to the world, but I know I am very important to you. There are people in my life who pay attention to the way I live. I pray that all I do and say will point them to Jesus Christ, my Lord. In his name I pray, amen. O merciful Father, you have wounded your own Son to bring us the eternal healing of your love. Bless the sick and those who suffer, those wounded in body or mind, and those dying, and all those we now name to you in our hearts. In your own time, grant to them healing according to your will and sustain them until the day of the resurrection of the body. Lord, in your mercy, 
Hear our prayer. All these things, O Lord, and whatever else you know that we need, we pray you to grant us for the sake of the mercies and by the merits of our Savior, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Amen.